guys. Got another short one for you today here. I'm going to show you how to get rid of this stupid EPA friendly locking style fuel spout on your gas can. Change it up for one of these easy pour free flow styles. So just bust it open and see what we got in the package here. That warning label or the instructions or that. So basically what you got, you got a couple different links on your uh, screw-on cap here. Probably go with this one for this guy. Got a little plastic gasket. Unfortunately, I'm gonna have to empty out my can to put the uh, vent in. This one doesn't have a vent right now. Got a little deal to put on here to lock your cap from flying off. So let's get this guy off here. Don't need that anymore. We'll get screwdriver. Let's see if we can fight this guy off of here. Start up here back. That out of the way then you're going to want to put your little cap stay on what you're going to want to do is wrap this around the corrugated section it's got two little nubs here you can see that keep it from popping off and then another little nub there to keep the cap on so I found it's a little easier if you grab it with a pair of pliers here about that and this guy breaking it. Pop that through there. Tighten her up around your nozzle. Then again with your pliers. Put this up through the top. Yeah, just like that. So that when your cap screws off, you're not going to lose it. Tighten that back up. Put this little plastic like a spacer deal and there's a rubber gasket on the inside flame arrestor in there put that right over the top there's your nozzle gonna thread this right on there and there you go now you got a free flowing gas cap bad part <clears throat> like I said earlier I like to put a vent right there, drill a hole and knock it through, but he's full of gas right now, so I'm gonna have to do something about that. Hang on. All right, got a good empty can now. Uh, I'm gonna use a flat boring bit, that way you know your hole's gonna be perfectly round. Don't really want this guy to leak. Uh, yeah, just take a half inch bit, line her up here somewhere on the seam. Put mine right about there. Drill your hole. some of that one inside. Clean off the edge here. And a new vent should just pop right in. get these 100 percent empty so just gonna swirl around what's left in there pour out here a little 
piece of plastic out of there. I believe that is everything. One little more. nice and clean in there now might be a little hard to see but I believe we're good and empty so there you go guys that's how you install easy pour spout and vent I want to say thanks to everybody that's been watching my videos liking subscribing and all that jazz uh, yeah I think that's all I've got for today Thanks everybody for watching. We'll see you in a day or two.